Hello, I'm Michelle and welcome to The Snugglery. I've got a super easy cable knitting pattern for you today. These fingerless gloves are a part of a matching set with this cable knit ear warmer that I recently uploaded a tutorial for. Now, while these wrist warmers are very simple, if you're an absolute beginner with cables, I recommend checking out the ear warmer pattern first because I go into a little more depth about how to knit cables over in that video. So these fingerless gloves couldn't be simpler. They're just rectangles, knit flat. They work up super fast in bulky weight yarn like Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick. You'll need a tapestry needle for seaming, a cable needle or something to cable with, and a pair of 9mm US 13 needles. You can use straight or circular needles. And I want to point out that this pattern is slightly different for the right and left glove because we'll leave a little thumb hole here while seaming. So you can see here that this is a right glove, and the pattern for the left glove will be the mirror image of this one. So we can get that cable lying on top of your hand while still knitting the whole thing in one piece. So I'll start by showing you how to knit the left glove and I'll let you know how to change up the pattern to make the right glove. We'll start by casting on 22 stitches for the small adult size wrist warmer. I'll have a printable PDF available for purchase on my website with the whole chunky cable knit set, so the headband and fingerless gloves with additional sizing instructions. So you've got your 22 stitches cast on. Row one of our six row repeat is a wrong side row. And you'll knit four. Purl six. This will set up your little six stitch section of stockinette for the cable. And then you'll knit all the remaining stitches, which in this case is 12 stitches. Now row two, a right side row, is to knit all stitches. Then row three is a repeat of row one. Knit four, purl six, knit 12. And row 4 is a repeat of row 2. Knit all the stitches. Row 5 is one more wrong side row. Knit 4, purl 6, knit 12. And I'll show you row 6, our cabling row, in a moment. But I want to point out that the right glove instructions are nearly the same, but those knit stitch numbers on either side of the purling section are flip-flopped. So the right glove will have you knitting 12 before purling 6, and there will be 4 remaining stitches to knit. Now, in either glove, row 6 is where all the cabling takes place. You'll knit up to that stockinette section. And C3F, which stands for Cable 3 Front. To do this, we'll slip 3 stitches off the left needle and onto our cable needle. And hold them in the front of your work. Then knit the next three stitches. And knit the three off the cable needle. Then knit the remaining stitches. And there's your first cable twist. That is our six row repeat for the left glove. You'll repeat rows one through six, and I wanted to just show you what purling the back of that cable looks like. When you're going from purl to knit, you may see some big gaps, and that's totally normal. It'll close up as you work the pattern. So continue repeating rows one through six for a total of 41 rows, or until your piece measures about nine inches. And in order for our cable pattern to match up on either end, we're going to bind off after a row five row. So this would normally be row six and a cabling row, but instead of cabling, we're just going to bind off with a basic bind off. 
by knitting the first stitch, knit the next stitch, pass the first stitch over, knit the next stitch, pass the first stitch over. Continue until you've bound off all your stitches and you'll have this little rectangular piece here. Next, we're going to seam the vertical edges together. And as we seam, we'll leave a little hole towards the end for your thumb. And since the cast on edge is a little stretchier than the bind off, I want the cast on edge to be on the end where your hand comes out. The bind off is a little less stretchy, so that will be the arm end. So now we'll seam it up using the mattress stitch. I'm starting down here at my bind off edge and I'll thread a tapestry needle with my yarn. For this seam, you'll want the right side facing out. And I'm just going to fasten onto the other side through this first bump here. To seam these two garter edges together, we're not going to be working right into the edge here, but into the first whole stitch that you see on the side. What you're looking for are these little umbrellas, the little U-shaped stitch, Insert your needle under the first U, poke it out before the next U, and be sure to get under that ladder as well. So under the U, under the ladder, and pull it through. Come around to the other side, and here we're looking for smiles. So the first one is a little loosey-goosey, but it's the same idea. Under the smile, under the next ladder, poke it out before the next smile, and pull it through. Come to the other side and go into where you came out of. Under the next U, and under the ladder, pull it through. On the other side, under the next smile, and the next ladder, and seam. Continue until you've seamed up your piece and there's about three and a half inches left, or about nine garter ridges remaining. And you've got a couple of options for the thumb hole here. You can fasten off this seaming yarn and pick up the tail from the beginning. Use it to seam down four garter ridges. If you don't have much of a tail left, you can carry this seaming yarn up one of the sides by threading your needle around and around on one side only. Until you've gotten up to those last four garter ridges and continue in mattress stitch, seaming the top four garter ridges together. At the top edge, I like to pass my needle through again one more time to sort of recreate that last knit stitch and have a continuous edge. And you can weave your ends into the seam. So there you have it, a left glove and a right glove, two little mirror images of each other and a super cute chunky knit set for you to give, gift, or sell this winter. All the pertinent links will be available down below. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye. Nope. <laughs> That's pretty fun, huh, babe? <laughs>